Welcome to Wednesday, August 12, 2020, and here's your day weather podcast, which is going to sound like a broken record. We still are not looking at much in the way of any significant weather. The only significant weather will be gusty afternoon thunderstorms again. We had some yesterday that did get strong, mainly with wind gusts. And with the lower levels of the atmosphere very dry, these thunderstorms are developing, but they run out of steam because the moisture below these thunderstorms close to the ground is lacking. So you tend to get very strong gusty winds with these thunderstorms and not a lot of rain. And that's likely going to happen again today. Temperatures are going to start to warm up after a very modest cooling trend yesterday. Temperatures go back up again. Pattern is going to be really stubborn. For the next couple of weeks, folks, we just don't see much of everything. So the fire dangers are going to remain very, very high, especially along and west of the Continental Divide, as there is not a good pattern coming to bring any really good rain chances, at least through the rest of this week and through this weekend coming on up and probably into the start of next week. Here's the current fire danger map, and you can see all the orange and red across the Intermountain West and Rockies. We continue to have this area right here as the most at risk for wildfire situations. Uh, you gotta be extremely careful. The next two weeks are really, really important because the next two weeks, we're probably gonna have what we call dry lightning, thunderstorms that produce lightning and wind, but little rain, and that could start fires. And uh, of course, human started fires are much more common than naturally started ones. So be careful out there. As we take a look at the next four and a half days here of precipitation chances, you can see there's some gray and there's some green out there. There's going to be a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity, but these amounts of rain, with the exception of some heavier thunderstorms up here, are very, very paltry, and these are probably, well, over forecasted. We're just not going to see much between now and through the weekend other than these gusty late day showers and thunderstorms. And here's why. Here's the current jet stream pattern as of today. We have the jet stream riding along the U.S.-Canadian border. We've got a high down here in New Mexico. Lots of heat building up down here. This is a really hot area. And right now, the flow of moisture from Mexico is taking a long route this way. And there's just very little moisture in here to be brought up. Now, in a normal, well, let's say an average mid-August situation, you'd still have a lot of subtropical moisture or monsoon moisture available here to be drawn in, but we just don't have it this year. As we progress forward, this is for Saturday. High pressure really settles into the Great Basin. Lots of very hot weather here across the western United States and the southwest United States. The main jet stream flow is pretty far north up near the Canadian border, where it usually is in August. And this flow of air into here may be slightly cooler with a little bit of moisture, but this is not a pattern conducive to widespread rains anytime soon. Ten days out, we have a tropical system way out here in the eastern Pacific, but it's likely going to be drawn this way, not to Mexico, at least in this current configuration. So the heat is going to build into the ten-day period. And again, all you're going to get are gusty afternoon and evening thunderstorms, no good rain. So for you looking for rain, this is not a good situation for the next week to 10 days. Now, there's a little bit of hope right at the end of August. Here is a trough of low pressure in the 15-day charts. Now, this is a 15-day chart, so you have to take this with a grain of salt. But it does show a change in the pattern. With low pressure moving into the west and high pressure now moving more into the eastern side of the United States. And as you get to the end of August, we usually do see some changes. But we probably have a solid 10 to 14 days, folks, before we can finally maybe get a little excited about rain chances. Until then, the only rain we're going to get will be from random late day showers and thunderstorms that will be few and far between and won't produce much rain. We'll talk to you on Thursday. Have a good Wednesday.